some tips and tricks, Paul, if you have a very low light scenario? Yeah, so this is an important uh, thing about PTZ Optics cameras, and it's a reason to go with the 4K model if you know you're going to have a lot of low light scenarios. It's a larger, uh, you know, more resolution to work with, and you get better low light performance with the Move 4K. Now, the Move SE and the Move 4K have Sony sensors, which have improved light across the board. And I have some uh, pictures of some low light settings of what you can do in super low light scenarios. So let's take a look at uh, a project we worked on recently with a, a church. And one of the cool things you're seeing in this picture, by the way, is image magnification. So the camera is at the back of a church about 150 feet away from this stained glass window up here. Yet we're able to zoom into wow. this image. Uh, it's a stained glass window of Jesus from up to 150 feet away. So you can capture a head and shoulder shot with a Move 4K 30X from over 150 feet away. It's really incredible. You can see the software over here. This is VMix we were using to, uh, to switch between these videos and do some color correction. We were using, obviously, a controller, uh, the SuperJoy controller to zoom the camera in and out. And then we decided to test low light. And on the right hand side, what you're seeing is the camera just out of the box. Just this is not adjusted for low light. On the left hand side, you're seeing full adjustments. So it's interesting with this was a Move 4K camera with all that resolution, we can increase the gain. We can open that iris. We can slow or slow down the shutter speed. You want a, a slow shutter speed when you're in low light. And we'll look at some of this in more detail, but it's incredible what you can do if you know you're going to be in a low light situation. You can actually save a preset for low light. So it can take some time to get the gain up and all the different uh, contrast levels and luminance levels up to achieve this. This took about 10 minutes for us to get all the levels changed to get this adjusted for low light. But once you've done that, you could set a preset and you can set up to 255 presets on a camera. So you could have presets for low light starting at 100 and presets for normal daylight starting at one. And you can quickly adjust the settings very quickly. Uh, so you can see with no low light and we give you profiles for low light as a starting point. So you could see here all of the low light profiles that you can access in your camera. So in your camera, we have these profiles and you'll see you can quickly jump into the low light one here or create your own. And what these do is you can download it and then add it to your camera. Now I'm not going to do this right now because I know Mike has the camera set up the way he wants them. <laughs> But what you would do is you would go in and you would look at the image uh, tab especially and start to increase the luminance if it's too dark. You know, you would increase the contrast as needed. You would change the exposure to open up that iris as much as possible and perhaps open up the shutter speed as much as possible and then start to play with the gain and the dynamic range until you get everything just right. Then... You can save that profile for low light and easily recall it as needed. So to answer Matt's question, yes. This is what I'm showing here, what a profile is, is the ability to bulk copy all of that information and quickly load it into the camera window.